Hi, Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. And today we're going to take a look at the TDM 800P 8 port analog card from Digium. Now, this is a full height card that can take a number of different modules. So you can have multiples of FXO or FXS modules on here. And it also has an optional hardware echo cancellation board. So those analog echo problems of the past are well and gone. Now, as part of the redesign of the Digium analog cards, this is one of the cards that is an all new design. It doesn't use the old Tiger Jet chipset like the clone cards do and like the original analog cards did, which means you're not going to have interrupt problems, you're not going to have IRQ problems, you're not going to have issues when you try and put two of these in one box. Those issues are, are long gone with the new design. And it's pretty easy to tell the new design from the old design since the old design didn't have hardware echo cancellation option. So take a look at the, the TDM 800. It's got eight RJ11 ports on it. So make it real easy. You don't have to use dongles or any, any kind of splitters to plug it in. It's available in PCI or PCI Express. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good card these days. But you can't just take my word on it. You can't just take Digium's word on it. They actually ran some tests. And they really tried to make sure that the new cards were as good or better than anything else on the market. So they put together uh, two particular tests. One is a PESQ test, and the other is a CPU utilization test. Let's take a look at those actual graphs so we can see how the Digium card compares to the competition. The first is going to be the PESQ chart. And this is a graphed representation of call quality. So you can actually tell by looking at a chart how a particular card works in a given environment. The Digium TDM410 maintains a mean PESQ score that is 9.38% higher than the Sangoma A400 and 18% higher than the Rhino R8 FXX. The Digium TDM800 maintains a mean PESQ score that is 13.9% higher than the Sangoma A400 and 22.61% higher than the Rhino R8 FXX. The Digium AEX800 maintains a mean PESQ score that is 15.69% higher than the Sangoma A400 and 24.79% higher than the Rhino R8 FXX. The results, well, they demonstrate that the Digium analog interface cards actually do have superior interrupt handling. So you're not going to get the dropped packets, you're not going to get the stuttering effect, and echo cancellation is going to be much more effective. But another key factor is going to be in how well does the card use the CPU. If it's taking up a lot of CPU cycles, that means you're going to have to have beefier hardware. So there's another graph we can look at to represent CPU utilization. In this particular test, the Rhino Equipment R8 FXX with four active channels utilizes 70% more CPU than the Digium TDM 800 with eight active channels, and 54% more CPU than the Digium AEX 800, also with eight active channels. That means the Digium card with twice as many active channels is 70% more effective. That's pretty incredible. The Sangoma Technologies A400 with six active channels utilizes 30% more CPU than the TDM 800 with eight active channels and 17% more CPU than the Digium AEX 800 also with eight active channels. So again, this is going to demonstrate that the TDM cards from Digium can handle more calls with less CPU. It's pretty attractive when you're trying to build small systems that can handle a good amount of calls. You don't need as much CPU power for the Digium cards as you do with the competition. So that's pretty good. The new chipset, higher reliability, a huge mean time between failure of a million hours, and the Digium ESP program, which is going to guarantee 
that this card is going to work with asterisk open source PBX in your environment. If it doesn't, you can qualify for a refund. So along with all the tech support you get, along with the ESP program, the new design, better interrupt handling, and less CPU utilization, it's really hard to beat a Digium TDM card. I mean, who better to make a card than the people who maintain the asterisk open source PBX source code? So check it out. TDM 800P from Digium here at 888 Voip Store. Thanks for watching.